Hey, hey, hey. Happy football season, y'all. Been sitting here watching some of the games. Um, there are college football games for the rest of the weekend and even Monday, too. But uh, I just want to kind of touch on something. Let y'all know something that I'm about to do. Um, as long as that THCA loophole does not get closed. Somewhere around into September, lawmakers and Congress are going to make a decision, but it'll go into effect the first of the year because December the 28th, uh, the 2018 Farm Bill, it expires. Now, if everything goes well, we get to keep this loophole. I'm buying out two other vendors. We're already in talks. Already talked money. Um, they will keep their brand names. But Powered by Flame Train CBD will be added to both of them. Um, and I'm going to have my original website going still and going to do nothing but wholesale. I'm going to handle all the wholesale. And uh, these other two vendors are basically going to be bought out, but they're going to be working for me too. They're still going to still gonna get a little bit of a cut. Man, and it and it's crazy because I see a lot of a lot of other companies making these mistakes. They'll just grab any old THCA flower and they'll keep dropping drop after drop after drop after drop and nobody's buying it. Because <clears throat> instead of looking for quality potency and the best possible flower that you can get and put out here for your customers, you're just grabbing any old thing and that's why this sort of thing is happening to companies. There's another company that just stepped away from the market, which I'm not going to name no companies that's had no problems like that that are that are done because the market's getting saturated and uh, people people are not thinking. we got to think a little bit better. But I'm going to put this out here that way. I don't just surprise everybody. Um, everything will pretty much be the same with these two brands uh, that we're going to buy out. When that powered by flame train CBD is added to the end of it, so all the flour is going to be supplied by me. I'll send what's going to go on their websites, and I'll be the one saying what's going to be sold. Um, just didn't want to hit y'all with this out the blue, and y'all be like, "Damn!" And uh, hopefully, hopefully they uh, there is. Uh, good as I am at getting orders out. That part of it I can't control. But I want to kind of let you guys know what's going on. Now, if that loophole gets closed, shit, just about all of us going to be done. We're going to walk away because if it gets rewrote the way they're wanting to rewrite it and top total TH, uh, cap total THC at like 2%, most of our CBD flour out here on the market is not even going to be legal anymore. So... Yeah, man, y'all just pray about it. Keep your fingers crossed and hope everything goes in our direction. I want to tell everybody have a great Labor Day weekend and, uh, and tell everybody thank you. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are the reason why I have got here to where I'm at. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video, man, and uh, much love to all of y'all, man. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Peace, y'all.